Hello there ladies and mental gen, I'm Cathogenia and today we're playing some more Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate Demo. Hey, for once I said that right. But uh, this is in the same recording as the last episode where we used the light bow gun here. Today we're using the heavy bow gun though. That already looks more powerful. While this long ranged weapon is a bit weighty, it's feared for its power and its signature crouching fire attack. And I actually read the manual, the instruction manual that comes with this one and um, so I believe to use crouching fire you hit A and X at the same time and apparently there's a lot of other attacks that use this too so I kinda of been I've kinda of been missing on this but guess now we know in fact the A and X thing is actually kinda of necessary for the bow from what I read Stop shaking your butt at the camera, Kiamba. That's just gross. No one wants to see little kids doing that. Anyway, um... You know... Uh, nah, we're not gonna kick those things today. We're gonna take the secret route. We're gonna be stealthy today. Anyway, um... So, let's keep this ready. And let's slip on over. I don't see it. There it is. Let's see if we can snipe from here. Nope. Too far. Which sucks because this is supposed to be the sniper class. So we can't even snipe with the sniper class. That's bullcrap. Yeah, get the reticle we're good and. Yeah. Didn't even make it. There we go. Stupid how it fires upward. Hit it in the neck. It's not gonna hit. It tried to hit us from all the way over there. Now that's just crazy. Let's switch to. Let's use the pellets again. Although I think we already pair. No. What am I saying? Yeah, we already poisoned it, I think. Uh, yeah, we already poisoned it. Ah, man. The, the one issue I'm having with this class is the fact that he can't dodge very well, because I like being mobile, but I like playing sniper with my guns. So, this could be a little bit of an issue. And I've like never been defeated or anything in this game, so I I don't know. Like I know it was covered in the instruction manual, like what happens if you lose all your health, but I didn't read it because I wanted to figure out for myself. So like, when you lose all your health, do you die and fail the mission, or like, is it like a three lives kind of thing? Because honestly, I'm curious. Let's see. Whoop! Nope. Not even gonna try it. Although that was a good shot. Got got most of them on his face. Let's see, there you go. 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 Ah, uh, rolled right into that. I keep like why do I keep rolling to get out of my scope? Seriously. There you go. Why'd I even roll that time? I keep he wasn't gonna hit me. Nah. But, um, between this recording and the last, I actually got a call from my aunt. Actually, from my aunt and mom and grandma. And, um, they're gonna be taking my little brother and little sister to Disneyland, like, a week after their summer break, so right around early July, well, a week after their school ends, so I'd say, like, I don't know exactly when that is, but I think it's around, like, late June, early July-ish. And they wanted me to come along, because it's been forever since my grandma and aunt have seen me. And I'll admit, it has been a while. So, I'll probably be going with them, um... So, you're probably not going to see any videos from me for... about a week or so. Around late June, early July-ish. But still, shouldn't be too terribly horrible. I mean, after all, I haven't uploaded in, like, 
mm, a week or two, a couple weeks now, I think, and you guys have all been fine. But, um, I, um, I think I'm going to try something for this 4th of July instead of just that piddly little firework, 15 second fireworks display thing you guys saw in my Happy New Year video. I'm probably going to do something a bit more flamboyant on my new peaceful map because that whole Lapis Lazuli castle thing, uh, that was kind of dumb looking and not exactly pleasing to the eye. So, I've been working on a new one. Chances are I'll do like some kind of... I like how much ammo this thing has when you're in siege mode. Because I believe that's what they call the crouching mode. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, no. Ah, oh, he did the fourth swipe. I didn't think he was going to do that. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, try and hit me. Try... Oh, you made me miss a shot. Try and hit me. I don't think either one of those hit. But still, we've already emptied like half our supply on this thing. Were you trying to hit me? I think that thing wanted to hit me. Rude. The wildlife here are mean. I don't like this place. It's too cold. And the wildlife are mean. And I don't know why I rolled or why I'm talking in this voice. Oh, hey, it's down. Now's our chance. Siege mode up the butt. Siege mode up the butt. Oh, we knocked him over. Heh. <laughs> Sucks for him. Just keep those legs spread. Up against the wall and spread them wide. I think that's... I think that's actually what a police officer once told, like, my girlfriend to do for some reason. Which is really kind of perverted of him. I mean, I suppose, yeah, we did look a little suspicious, but we haven't really done anything illegal. Because why would we? We're law-abiding citizens of the U.S. Albeit some of you guys probably aren't even from the U.S. I know for a fact for... I know for a fact a couple of my subscribers are from various parts of, like, the Europe-Africa border thing, and I think I've seen one or two from Turkey. I, I don't know, I don't check my analytics very often, but I know that a lot of my subscribers still come from the U.S. In fact, I think I even have one from Alaska, albeit that's part of the U.S., just I don't really hear all that much about Alaska. Oh, and the Nullberries fix this thingy here. Ow. That wasn't very nice. You know, sometimes this thing can be a real pain in the butt. Albeit we probably are being one to it because the fact we keep shooting stuff up it. Uh, but, I suppose. One. See? See, buddy? This time I'm not shooting up your butt, I'm shooting you in the face. So... Now that you've experienced both sensations, tell me, would you rather have darts up your butt or up your face? Actually, up your butt or in your face? Yeah, I think I'd go for darts up the butt too. Nope, you're not hitting me. T two. Ah, oh, missed it. Whoa. And about that whole pol perverted police officer thing, I just call her my girlfriend because, well, we're really close. We aren't actually dating or anything because, well, we're just trying to take it slow for now. We both agree with the pace of the relationship. We can talk about a lot of stuff without it being awkward or anything. It's kind of nice. But I should... Let's... Dim this down a bit. Uh, no, we're gonna turn off. There we go. Sorry about that. I just wanted to adjust the lighting a bit because it looked like there was beginning to get a. Yeah, that's a bit bright. There was looking like it was gonna be a bit of a glare on the game. See so, you now, that looks honestly. This looks a. This kind of. If you focus on the screen right now, it looks like I'm actually using a capture card for the game, kinda, doesn't it? I mean, you got all the con. You got all the colors right and everything. 
but seriously this is a really good camera and it's not even that good looking or anything it's not like high definition or anything it's just a uh, I'll have to check at some point like the next time this guy's out of here I'll have to check and let you guys know what it is because well I can check it briefly I mean it's not very hard to get underneath the gorilla pod and see what the heck this thing is okay it's on the run okay so while this so while I've got this guy moving here we go it is a Nikon Coolpix it's red it's 10 megapixels 3.6x zoom 3 inch LCD double A size batteries and it has motion detection and that was the thing saying that we've got like 10 minutes left I think so we're just gonna bash him and then we're gonna shoot him in the chest and in the face a little okay we need new ammo let's use the yeah we're gonna use the crack shots and for those of you guys who don't know about the crag shots, they are the most wonderful shots in the in the game, and you will see why in a brief second. Boom, baby, boom! That's just beautiful. I mean, it really is a be. Ha ha, sucker! You didn't get me. But really, that those are like my those are easily my favorite shots in the game because I mean. Who doesn't want to blow stuff up whenever you shoot something? I mean, look at that freak out! And we can just keep shooting him in the face! And he'll keep taking extreme damage from it. It's like the miniature barrel bombs, but you don't have to stand right next to him for them to work. Oh, we stunned him! Nice! Well, I'm gonna keep shooting his face. Burn your face, buddy! Burn it! Burn! <laughs> oh, I love these weapons. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being kind of morbid, but <laughs> I really love those shots. There we go. Blow yourself up. Oh, it didn't work. Blow yourself up! Ah, come on. Blow yourself up! Or blow the thing up with when you're not even close to it. Well, that wasn't very nice of him. He wasted our bomb. What? 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 He actually got us. That overgrown bunny actually got us. Wow. Well, I guess you do go back to camp, but I can't believe that. I mean, that's the first time this has happened in the series, I think. And we're a good 11, 12 episodes in. I mean, how can that son of a bitch kill us? Or, well, make us faint? Seriously. That, that was just horrible playing on my part. I shouldn't have been, I shouldn't have been focusing so much on the crag shots, because... Really, I love those things to death and beyond, but I need to start focusing more on the game. But where was I? I'll take this advantage of this time to talk a little bit about my girlfriend. Uh, she's, well, obviously I'm a bit, obviously I'm taller than her because that's generally how the rules of nature work. Uh, oh, never mind, we're already here. But, um... We've been friends since, what is it, I think, middle school, high school-ish? I don't remember exactly when, but I think it was like my starting year of high school, because that's when Mom moved us up to Sumner, and I met her there, and she was, she, like, she really, I guess, didn't want to lose the friendship with me, because she actually moved down here to Colorado with me when we moved back down here, because, well... Uh, here's how it worked. Um, we, I was born here in color. I was born here in Colorado. Uh, mom, mom, uh, moved us up to Washington briefly. 
like when I was five or so, then she moved us back down here to Colorado for a while, and um, from there, dad came back, got her pregnant again with my little brother and little sister. Don't tell me how, don't tell me the luck she had in having them when she was like 31 and without any birth defects, but... Uh, so she had them, my dad realized he just didn't want that, and ran off like a complete and total dick again, and then she moved, um, she moved us up to the, she moved us back up to Sumner a few years later, so like, that was around the time when I was 14, 15-ish, and that's when I first met her, and... I should probably start focusing on the game again. But anyway, um, so, we stayed there for a bit, and then when it was time for me to go to college, I came back down here, and, well, I... Oh, it's sleeping again. And I have no siege mode ammo. Great. Okay. I guess we're using this, then. Stealth action time. Let's shoot it. Come on, buddy, you're not done. We're, we're your new alarm clock. But anyway, um, I moved back down here to go to college, and um, so what I did was I actually stayed down here for two years in college, and then went back up to Sumner for another two for the, the last two years of a four-year college, because originally I was down here at a two-year college. And uh, don't tell me the luck I don't even bother telling me the luck I had in getting into the college that into that four-year college but um so anyway that uh, it was up here where I met Travis and a lot of my other friends and so when so then um, after I finished my after I finished my college up here I moved back down to Colorado well up here meaning up there in Washington because right now I'm down here in Colorado and so I was I moved down here in Colorado. Oh, oh, hey, didn't actually steal anything from us for once. But I moved down here in Colorado, and so did my mom, brother, and sister, actually. And so when I got out of college, actually, I was like 23. So I missed four years of my little brother and little sister's lives. I mean, it was such a shock to see them when they were so small and so young, and to come back and see them starting their awkward years. Because I'm 24 now, so they're 14. But, um, my girlfriend was really passionate about staying with me, so she moved down here with me. We don't live together or anything, but she lives... Oh, bullet up the butt. But she lives pretty close to me, too. And... I probably should have been focusing on the gameplay there, but, you know, we won nonetheless. And that's what matters in my book. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the content, and I'll see you all in the next video.